Sorry about that. Um, still PAZRT kernel, still here. I just got a text message and it interrupts my video recording on my phone. I wonder if there's a way to change that. If you happen to know what it is, I have a Motorola Droid Razor Max some bullshit. Uh, still don't really know how to use the whole thing, but figured, uh, why not? Got good storage on it, good screen, good camera, etc. Um, and it calls and texts. And <laughs> the rest of the stuff, I probably could have got a phone that does the same for less, but, you know, what the hell, why not? Uh, anyway, like I was saying, this is Camelback, so it has the, the H2O ports, so you can put your, your water bladder in your main compartment. If I could get... Or in your, your drinking tube, which comes out right here where this little thing says H2O. You can see H2O here. And you can run it right down the side and, you know, bungee it or put it through a carabiner or right here. So, so you can just hold on to it and it's right there at where you can grab a hold of it easily. Um, also, it's got a little, I guess you could use this one for like a radio antenna or something. If you had a big old radio in there, which I won't ever. Um... But one thing I like about it, if it's as sturdy as my mother load, you've got drag handles on the top, or carry handles, whatever you want to call them, and both sides. And the ones my mother load I've used a lot, I've thrown the bag a lot with 50 to 80 pounds in it by these handles, pick it up, swung it, you know, and it held up really well. So I'm expecting that this one does just the same. For your carrying pleasure, uh, it's very padded, lower back support here, and adds here and here and here and here for your shoulders and such. Straps are pretty heavy duty. Buckles are fairly heavy duty. This one was replaced. I guess the guy broke it or something or lost it or I don't know. Uh, the guy bought it from. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a really good pack. It, well, so far it's been really good to me. I loaded it up with all this stuff and all the ammunition and weapons and stuff in it. You know, it didn't really feel that heavy resting on my back. Um, also, uh, maybe one day I'll do you a class on how to pack a bag like this because I just threw it all in here and it definitely was not packed right. I felt the difference on my back uh, by carrying this bag than I did with other bags that I have. Probably because it's mostly empty and there's a lot of space in there so everything's settled in the bottom. But uh, maybe I'll give you guys a class one day on how to properly pack a, a rucksack and or three day bag, bug out bag, get home bag whatever you want to call it, uh, because really you want your weight resting about as high on your back as you can get it, so you want like your massive weight, you know, on top if you can, you know, if, if at all possible you want your weight higher on your back than lower on your back, uh, keeps from pulling on you and such, so one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, it took me a long time to get around to this one, so don't hold your breath on it, anyway, uh, I realize I'm missing a lot of things from my bag. Like I said, this is daily carry. Slide all this down here. This is some of the stuff that's going in my bag. Uh, I realize that I'm missing things. My sleeping bag has not gone back into my bug out bag recently. It's a just one of the parts of the three piece uh, GI issue bags. I've never needed more than the one part uh, on any cold nights that I've encountered so I only carry the one part does me really well and fits my bag a lot easier but um, my sleeping bag's not in there I do have a little tent that I keep in there and in my first aid pouch I know that I do have a couple emergency blankets and emergency sleeping bags uh, maybe I'll show you those they're cool little pieces I've yet to try the emergency sleeping bag I don't know where it is uh, I came in a German first aid kit I picked up while I was in, in country and uh, I'd like to try it out one day, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Maybe next time I go camping, it'll be the only thing I, only thing I take with me as far as that goes. Here we go. I don't know what this says. Uh, can you read that? I think it's a sleeping bag. It looks like a sleeping bag, not a not a blanket. He's inside it. Anyway, um, this one's gold, not silver, like you see in most places in this country, and. Uh, I have another one in there somewhere, but maybe next time I go camping, I won't take my sleeping bag. I'll just take one of those and, and see how it really, really works or really, really doesn't work when I freeze and have to, like, fucking create a gigantic bonfire in that little thing just to keep warm. Anyway, uh, that's the end of it. Questions, comments, gripes, complaints, concerns, 
rants, etc., are all welcome. Post them in the comments down there, down down there in the bottom. Um, and uh, let me know what you want to see. I have uh, a few firearms that you want to do uh, a range uh, review on. And a bunch of other gear floating around upstairs in my closet. Like I said in a past video, I recently moved in May. I guess it's not really recently anymore. But I still haven't unpacked all of my camping and or uh, outdoorsy type stuff yet. So my little puppy that won't leave my damn foot alone. He's teething right now and getting all his big boy teeth. So he's always trying to chew on my hand or my foot or stop it, Bocephus. Anyway, he's been a pain in my ass the whole video. So this is it. And... This is my new dining room with my hardwood floors and all the dog's toys and, and the dog's blanket in the corner and all this shit. My new hardwood table. It's really nice underneath these covers. Stop biting my foot. All right. Uh, this is Bocephus. It's a little baby. And uh, he's signing off. So, like I said, leave stuff below. Let me know what you want to see and or hear, do, whatever. And I'll try to accommodate. Okay. Talk to you later, world.